the new community safety plan, which is the community safety and crime prevention plan, actually, um, was a an item that we would love your feedback on. And council voted this month to put that out for public advertising. So this is actually the plan that runs from now through to uh, 2024. And what we'd like your feedback on is really, does this capture that? It'd be fair to say this is one of the key issues, I think, for, for me in our community, making sure that we feel like we've got a safe and inviting, not only CBD, but also, also our suburbs. Obviously, we're rolling out a lot of CCTV at the moment, um, have had a particularly strong focus in terms of our community safety officers. So we want to make sure that you're comfortable with where, where we're going, and that'll be out for public advertising soon, and please give us your feedback. Sustainable buildings are one of those issues that's really, really important um, to, to Fremantle and the community. So this month we looked at actually our suite of policies in that area and we've updated those. So um, making sure that we're actually really reflecting some of the best rating tools um, uh, that, that, that exist all the way through from the One Planet model that we use here at the City of Fremantle uh, through all the way through to the great work that the Green Building Council of Australia does. So we've updated those. We also actually revoked one of our policies that went all the way back to the 1990s and replaced that um, really with some of the really great work now that's gone mainstream actually since the council did this around the, the your homework and, and those kinds of things because what we want our community to do is have access to the best information to get sustainable houses and buildings built and we also want to make sure that we can keep showing leadership to encourage that the next generation of buildings that we're doing are the best and are planned for the 21st century. The King Square project uh, kept progressing th this month as well, so where the council agreed to sign off on the tender for the stage one of the public work. So obviously King Square, whilst been a lot about some uh, major new buildings in our city centre and, and bringing people in terms of new office jobs, the uh, over 1500 Department of Communities and Transport employees, as well as the new Library and Civic Centre. Importantly, it's also about the public realm. So this month we voted on the first stage of those works that would actually see Newman Court and the areas um, down the High Street alignment repaved and actually to bring those up, up to date to, ma to match those buildings. It's a really really big project we want to make sure that we not only get the buildings right but we create a great new public realm as well because we want our community to enjoy it to linger and make it feel feel like it's part of their part of their community so um we're really pleased to see king square progressing and uh and the work's underway